Hello everyone, I am Pavlos Kanalakis, the author of the book The Classical Guitar Journal. This is a technique book which aims to provide guitarists of various levels with ideas that will assist them to develop and become more conscious of their imagination, technique and ability to hear what they play. In this video, I would like to talk and demonstrate briefly the 14th chapter of the book entitled Focused and Peripheral. The title of this chapter has been inspired by the human vision in which the focus of the eye is on a single location or object, while the peripheral vision occurs outside or around that object. Both the focused and peripheral perceptions are equally important and despite their contrary function, they are very much interwined. My teacher, Maestro Oscar Gilla, triggered my interest in these concepts and helped me to realize that in music too, we are frequently dealing with focused and peripheral notes. In simple words, the focused notes form those structural anchors often indicated by the harmonic rhythm of a work on which a rapid or even slow phrase begins and ends, while the peripheral are the ones in between them. As in vision, in music too, both are equally important and interwined. They simply require a different approach, and this is what is addressed in this chapter. The exercises included here aim to trigger the awareness of the player and also to provide a technical foundation on how to understand and deal with these passages as effortlessly as possible. When practicing them, it is important that you always emphasize the focus notes and play lighter the peripheral notes. At the beginning, practice them with metronome at a very slow tempo. Aim to play the focus notes on the downbeats and the peripheral notes in between. Strive for clarity and good articulation. The following exercises might take a considerable time to master. Take time with them and do not try to play them all within a few sessions. The next two videos demonstrate how these perceptions can be applied into practice. I'm going to begin with the first of the five right-hand arpeggio exercises included in the first section of the chapter. Here, you could also apply the alternative fingering as outlined below each exercise. I'm going to continue with an exercise entitled Scalic Passages in One Octave. The following ones are also a good way to practice and memorize the seven modes on the guitar as each of the scalic passages outlines a different mode. Note that you can execute these passages backwards too, 
starting from the last note and finishing on the first one of each bar. Although I'm excluding here the repeats, they are, however, strongly recommended. So, that was a brief demonstration of the 14th chapter of the book, The Classical Guitar Journal. Should you be interested in knowing more about it, follow the links below, where you can find all the necessary information about it. Thank you for watching, and I wish you all a good and a very productive time.